Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a sleeve design for screen printing like this one we got right here. Let's hop in. What you're going to want to do is to make some registration marks to have it even. So I usually just do it about an inch for each line and that way when I'm setting up my design it just helps me double check that my design's straight uh, before I set it up for printing. And what I do, if it's just a one color design, I'll use my water-based adhesive. Make sure you apply it and that it's sticky during use. So, you know, about every five to 10 hoodies, you might need to reapply a little bit of this. All right, this is good to go. Test it with your thumb. So we're printing on this left sleeve on the hoodie. And a trick, whenever I load this onto the plat, I don't just straight grab it and put it on. What I'll do is grab the right sleeve or whichever sleeve that you're not printing, you'll wanna kinda of hold this with the hood. This is kind of a pro tip just for lining it up. So once you have it like this, you have the sleeve in your hand and the hood, I follow the crease of the shoulder mark right here. And I'll take that and load it right directly into the middle of the platen. And for my design, I need to have it about two inches from right here. So. A good rule of thumb, for me at least, you know, I know other print shops and people do things differently with the setup they have, but what works good for me is finding where um, you want your sleeve print to end on the sleeve, and then once you do your first sample print and you get that in a good spot, keep a note if it needs to be, say, four inches down or all the way to the end. So that way when you're lining it up, you don't have to pay attention where the shoulder seam is really at. You can know that as long as if it's a small double XL, regardless, you can line it up where it needs to be from the distance from the end of the, uh, the arm. So it'll be consistent, even if it's a longer torso or longer arm for um, the client, whichever size it is. So before you print, you will put it under your flash to suck some of that moisture out for about five to 10 seconds. All right, now we got this ready to print. We're gonna pull down our screen. Make sure it's nice and flooded. Print your first layer, leaving no ink behind. So I kind of make sure I don't leave any dried ink behind. I'll do my normal, um, after flooding, I'll pull, and then I'll do a pull dry just to make sure that there's no dried ink that got left over. So then yeah, you flood it again, pull it up, and now you got the first layer. So I spin it under my flash for a few seconds, and then I hit it one more time, smoothing it out. White always takes a little bit more to smoothen out. And for me, instead of doing just a full third coat on this, I actually will hit it again for the third time, but dry on the screen, so I don't flood it for this one. Depending on the design and what we're doing, we might hit three passes of white. Sometimes we do it like this. It really depends what your preference is, because um, you know many printers do things a little different but this works great for us and our clients. All right, and after you print the last layer, even though you're hitting it dry, there's still a little ink residue that comes through. So you'll wanna make sure you dry it to the touch before you take it off. Um, you don't have to do this, but I do it because sometimes when you pull it up, you'll see it can sometimes stick pretty hard and you don't want it to still be really wet and then say it touches itself and it'll smear your design and it'll ruin the garment. So. Yeah, with that sleeve that we wrap around when I was holding it, it really just wraps around here as you go to print. The reason we do that is so that the sleeve, it doesn't just hang at the bottom and uh, brush along the ground if you have dust or anything. It really keeps a cleaner product for your client. So now that I'm ready to pull it off, I'll grab the sleeve and start tugging at the hood and make sure this is released. And then you can just kind of pull it all off at once. Once you get it over the little uh, bracket at the bottom, just pull it right off. And there you go. Now you got your sleeve print. And if you don't decide to dry it, you really wanna be careful with this. If you just touch anything at all, it'll really mess up your design. Just let the sleeve, you can see from here, just lay along the garment. Make sure it's gonna go through. And then once it comes through, we always make sure that we um, use our little cure gun to test that ink. Make sure it's getting to tip. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Follow us and subscribe for more content. We'll try to have more videos like this coming soon to give more advice for more printers out there looking for a second opinion or how to do something. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time.